line. You're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, 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 I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and, and <laughs> I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh, man, I don't know where to start. They're, uh, they're, they're going to... Um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. Well, um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the, um, the space program made contact with, uh, they, they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of, of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military, I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them. And there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now are but they're not doing they're not doing anything they are not they want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable discharge <laughs> because you were listening. That was awful strange. There was a really weird guy on the air when it went off? Yeah. Real weird out. Like uh, going sort of sort of sounding paranoid, yeah. schizophrenic. Like crying and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And how far into the conversation was it when, when it went off? Uh, just a couple, about 15, 20 seconds, I'd say. Oh, you, oh you guys missed, you, you really missed the call then, and I've got a feeling somebody didn't want you to hear it. Yeah, because <laughs> um, it was really strange. All of a sudden, I'm hearing Mark Furman, and when I when that's I right. Well, the network, the network, of course, went immediately to a backup tape while we tried to figure out what blew up here. Uh huh. So that's what you heard happen. Uh huh. And then we're now on a backup link system. Uh huh. Uh, to be on the air at all right now. So, well, I'm telling you. Am I on the air right now? You're on the air right now. Well, you better be, yes. <laughs> and uh, Where are you, by the way? I'm in Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, I called the other night, and uh, I wanted to ask two things. Real quick. Well, I wanted to say one thing, and I wanted to ask another. Real quick. I wanted to ask if you could play the um, remote viewing uh, one when you were in, while you go to Egypt. Yes. And also, I wanted to know... Uh, uh, all this uh, stuff about, like, uh, Area 51, if it's, like, the government's trying to put it out there like that, so, like, some other place isn't being watched as much. In other words, it's a big decoy. I see what you're saying. Aaron, apparently, we'll be back after the news, I think. Send here, but he lost all transmit capability on this end. 
here in Nevada. The transmitter went belly up suddenly for some unknown reason. I've never seen it do this in all the years, all the years that we've been on the air. I have never seen the transmitter in this way just simply fail, a massively fail, like a massive heart attack or some kind. And so we have gone to a backup system to get the signal to you right now, and I presume it is getting to you right now.